Uh, my name is Kyle Hagen, and I'm part of the Bearded Klansmen who do videos here at Collector Mania. Dominic Faust and I, unfortunately Dominic's not doing too well, so we haven't seen him on stream yet, but he's playing Greyjoy, uh, do a YouTube video called The Bearded Klansmen, where we do, like, review Game of Thrones stuff, and generally just kind of have fun and talk about the game. So, we decided to do commentary, or I decided to do commentary for our um, Game of Thrones store champ. So, uh, I'm just going to kind of walk through and talk about what I like to talk about. So, if you like that, that's fine. Looks like Josh is setting up with the uh, Iron Mines and a duped Asha, new Asha. And we got a uh, Marge, duped Marge, and High Garden. Or the Arbor, sorry. The Arbor. So, this is a pretty interesting setup here. Um, hopefully, nobody has marched. I guess it doesn't matter. Actually, I don't think you can be safe from March, so. Let's see. We cannot be safe, so. Either player has marched, it's going to be interesting. Um, I don't know if either player does have marched, actually. Nope, neither player has marched to the wall, so <laughs> we should be in a pretty interesting spot here. And Josh is reading uh, the new Asha. So the new Asha is a pillager, and basically whenever she wins a challenge... Uh, sorry. Whenever she... Uh, this card's a card with pillage, sorry. You get to search the top X of your cards in your deck where X is the number of cards in your losing points pile. So that's a, that's a pretty good start for a dupe. Um, the Marge at, that's out there right now is the Marge that um, allows you to un, to give somebody plus two power by exhausting her. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but it's not really a powerhouse to start with just because... Um, plus two shrinks, I'm sorry. Just because you kind of need other characters to use it, but he's gonna have a ton of money. Uh, he's got you got Kama Restoros, and we got trading with Batashi, so we're starting out strong here. Uh, Kam is about five five money, and uh, I think he's chose uh, combat or uh, military as the Kam uh, over Westeros. So that means military claims will not uh, military claim is set to zero during um, the opponent's turn or during the turn. So it looks like we have Iron Sea, or f is it the Fish Market? No, that's the, I think that's the uh, Iron Island Scouts. But we'll see. Because. Yeah, Iron Island Fleet Scouts. So that's the one that you get plus one or plus two if you're first player for a participating Greyjoy character. So um, giving strength, not bad. And then we have Triss out, oh my goodness. So we're starting the game with two of the cards that make Aaron's deck sing, a Duke Triss Botley, and then we have a Begging Brothers too, so we can you know negate those targeting. So right now, uh, Aaron's setup is crazy. Um, he, oh, and he, I think he just put a Little Bird on on there. Um, so now we have Triss with the entry icon, so we can trigger Reigns. We have Asha with the entry, so she can trigger Reigns if you know Triss doesn't Triss ha something happens, but Triss needs to do something else. Begging Brother has has intrigue, so he's probably going to fire off Castamere this turn. Um, we're seeing a Tourney Grounds from Joshua, or sorry, Jasting Pavilion from Joshua. Um, with all of his money in the world, he's playing a... Ooh, I don't know what that one is, actually. Let's look. So we got... Oh, we got the Arbor Vineyard, so... Arbor Vineyard is that marshalling location, uh, a marshalling action location that everybody got last cycle. So if there's a summer plot involved, more summer than winter, you get two gold. So he's going to get more money, uh, which he did, I believe. He's drawing cards now for the, okay, the Oleans Informant. I think that, that that's what that is. Oleans Informant. Oleans Informant. So... The informant's going to let him draw cards, and I believe... I'm sorry, no, that's Ariel Tyrell. So, after she enters play, search the top ten cards in your deck for a Tyrell character. So this is perfect. This is exactly what uh, what he needed. So he just searched for the, the Green Apple Knight. The Green Apple Knight is uh, someone's going to his hand. And Green Apple Knight allows him to um, get a little bit more oomph from his knight deck. So uh, Joshua's playing knights. He's been playing He's really good the last two times. I mean, obviously, he's undefeated right now. But... Um, He's heart, uh, King of Flowers is a really big card for him, so it'll be interesting to see if we can, uh, if he can lock out King of Flowers, uh, if, if uh, Aaron can lock out King of Flowers. So, oh man, where's this ha Green Apple? So Green Apple is plus one strength three turns of knight character, so he's he's a uh, just one right now. But if you have two more knights, uh, he doesn't kneel and declares an attacker. So, um, oh, and so he has 
we have a I believe a body guarded um, night of flowers out here We also have Marin Heat, so it could be Marin Heat as well. So we might have just put Marin Heat and Bodyguard on both of them. <laughs> There's definitely a Bodyguard underneath there. And Marin Heat's going to be good. Marin Heat is one of those cards that, uh, it's just a solid, um, it's just a solid, uh, it's just a solid card for uh, a Knight deck, you know. It's going to allow the, the Knights to get, I think, extra power and they can do some things. Let's see. Uh, Mir Neil Marin Heat to choose a character with strength higher than that of the attached character and remove that character from the challenge. So, uh, it's good at dealing with the one-on-one -on -one stuff that night decks can have happen. Um, looks like we're about to start challenges, so uh, keep that in mind, and I'll be right back. So, we'll do challenges. All right, we're back. So uh, looks like we got a Tris Botley. He's going through the discard. Oh no! So he's he's triggering Reigns right now on the intrigue challenge. He's kneeling his house card to play a. Ooh, let's see what that is. Not filthy. Maybe the spider's web. I don't think it's a. Yeah, it's the spider's web. So, after the claim is applied for an intrigue challenge, you won, which is right now. You may, you may do an additional intrigue in this phase until the end of the phase, raise the claim value. So he's going to discard two cards uh, from that. And then he can use Triss's action after that to do it. Or if he can use Triss's action after he declares the Asha attack. So, probably going to do Asha stealthing the other intrigue icon that's not Marjorie. Um, This Greyjoy deck is scary. So it looks like he's going to block with Marjorie, so it's not unopposed. Um, still probably going to go through. Probably going to go through still. So you can't trigger Reigns more than once. I think this is what Josh is asking him. So basically he gets a power from unopposed. He's going to discard two cards, I believe. Those two. Um, then he's going to trigger Asha's ability, which is going to let him search. And then he might trigger... Uh, he might also trigger... Um, Tr uh, Botley, Tris Botley's ability as well here. It's going to leave him completely open to damage this turn, but he's also just hit uh, Joshua's hand for four cards in one turn, and he's going to get a card in his hand extra, and he's going to be able to lock Josh out of playing something that's in his discard pile. So this is the part of the game where having Tris out makes it so you, <laughs> your opponent doesn't get to play some of the game, which is some some people think is terrible, some people think is great, you know, depending on how you view the game balance and this uh, right now, Heron's setup is it's tough to get through Tri Tris Botley because he's got a bodyguard and he's got a or he's not he's got a little bird, but he's got a dupe. So you got to grind through two dupes, um, and he's got the begging brother, so he can like redirect targeted stuff at the begging brother. So you know it is what it is. If you have a feeling on this, just let us know. <laughs> I'll see what happens. Um, looks like he's going in with Knight of Flowers. Again, there's no uh, military uh, claim this turn for because of the COTCOM over Westeros. Um, so that means that uh, nobody's getting military claim this turn. But we do see Renown on the Knight of Flowers because there's no blockers. Um, not quite sure why he went to the dead pile. Oh, okay, so Zol I'm sorry. That's my bad. Oh, hit a Balon. Uh, Iron's got so many alt arts in his deck, it's hard to tell. But yeah, so sorry. Uh, Calm only works if you're the, uh, for you, basically. So, get the Begging Brothers, get killed by a knight. Seems kind of unknightly, if you ask me. So we're counting dominance here. Uh, it means that he's, uh, Josh is going to get a power. 
So Josh is rushing really hard, but there's a chance that the setup that we have right now... I'm surprised that we didn't see Botley's trigger go off. Maybe we didn't, I just missed it. But, uh... It's easy to sit here and say, oh, what did this happen? So, going into round two here, uh, round two of the, this phase, um, we're going to see some stuff happen, hopefully. So, no, I'm glad we didn't see stuff happen, but stand the night. So, we got Arbor, we got uh, Martial Action, Extra Gold, Jousting Pavilion, and we got Iron Mines and Iron Fleet Scouts. And we have the, the Doged Sleeve plot sitting there. Aaron's still choosing. You know, I really want to see this knight deck do see see where it goes after this turn. Um, last game we watched Aaron Victoria play. This this Triss and Asha combo got really hard. So Wardens of the South is what we see into um, trade routes. So hopefully Wardens of the South can give these knights the the extra power whenever they're well. It will give them the extra power, but. We'll see what he can do with the cards in his hand. So he's got three cards now. Aaron's got a bunch because Aaron has the Asha triggers and all that stuff. So um, the trade rats. Let's look at. Let's talk about trade rats for a sec. Trade rats. So trade rats says when reveal choose an opponent game one goal for each location controlled by that opponent. So he just got three extra gold on top of the two, but uh, for. Um, oh, he, sorry. He got. Uh, five on top of the two for the locations everybody controls. And then it, he put out a... Let's see, Aaron, what did you put out? Maybe Isle of Ravens? I don't think so, though. Might be a great haul, but I doubt it. got so many so many things in there so we got Marin heat uh, on uh, on flowers we also saw him oh uh, marshaled Iron Island uh, fishmonger and a uh, Victorian so we might see some cool stuff happen from Victorian with the intimidate um, That might be just a great haul, but it's a promo great haul uh, on that uh, yeah, uh, that Aaron played this turn. So that'll be good. That probably helped him get the tearing out. Uh, so we have challenges abound. Already stuff happened. They're going fast. So we just had a pose there. Since we got the jousting pavilion out and all the other stuff, we um, had the block there on the Knight of Flowers. I got extra stuff. We just saw uh, stealth. Uh, Tyrell, the middle Tyrell character, and we're seeing a big old and big old intrigue push, I think. So we're blocking there, so it's not unopposed. But we're gonna see if he can get the range trigger off. Clear the blocker, good plus two, so that means Iron is at five. Or I'm sorry, um, Marge is at five. And then we just uh, Iron Fleet mongered the. Asha, so it's either one or two. I can't actually tell this first player, so I think it's um I know I'm dumb. It's uh it's actually Aaron. So then we had uh Lord Rentley's ride, I think is what he just played. Oh, he just conceded. Okay. Didn't didn't wanna didn't wanna deal. Didn't wanna deal. Okay, well, that was the quick one. Um I think he just hit his hand too hard and he didn't have any characters, so it's just going to be a pretty brutal turn. So, yeah, well, thanks for watching. Um, we'll keep streaming, but uh, stop the recording. All right. Uh, everybody, thanks for watching these these games here. Um, if you have any comments or anything like that, we're going to be putting these up on YouTube, too, or they're on YouTube and you're watching them. Let us know what we did well, what we didn't do well. We're trying to just try this thing out. Make sure to watch The Bearded Clansman. Come to Collector Mania to play. Um, you know, keep an ear out for any new events that we, we do on The Bearded Clansman. And, you know, you know, good luck and, you know, you win or you die. <laughs>